Hi, I'm Justin Ball, the owner of the Showerhead store. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do some maintenance on this atmospheric water generator. If you don't know what that is, why are you watching this video? No, I'm joking. That is a basically a dehumidifier that filters the water so you can drink it nice and clean and pure. So I've had this for just over six months and it's time to change the filters. Here's what I got. I have one reverse osmosis filter, and then I have three of these filters. Okay, so one is lead reduction, don't want that, organic chemical reduction, and taste and odor reduction. Now this unit, it's by Air River. You can find it on Amazon and at Air River's website, link to that below. You wanna make sure that these filters are changed. You know, the RO filter, they say about like every year, but I'm gonna go play it a little bit safer and change it after six months. So what tools do we need for the project? This is a tool for removing the RO uh, housing. I have a little tiny screwdriver if we need to get some connections loose and pliers to pull out the old membrane if it's stuck in there. And a bucket, let's get started. So before getting started working on this, I'm just gonna shut the power off and unplug it from the wall. And then I'll remove this front panel. And that will expose the filters that I just showed you. And then this is the RO membrane. What you'll see is you have these connections. They're these push fit connections with, the, with these little blue clips. So you, you'll need to pull these clips out, push this in, and then the tube should come out. I've already replaced these filters. So I'm gonna leave these in here. This is pretty uh, straightforward, but I would just recommend when replacing them, just do one at a time. Take a picture of this before you even get started. So I'm gonna take this little horseshoe clip off and then I'm just gonna push this in and pull that out, okay? And then I'm gonna do, just snap that out. Same here. So this is on the back, this is on the front, bottom, and then this is on top. Now we have my bucket, should have used already. We'll grab this tool here. There we go. Okay, just need to get, throw it in a headlock. Cut, look at that. That's the filter in there. Kind of gross looking, as you would expect after six months. So this should just be in there with a gasket. As you can see, this is the filter that uh, we're gonna be using to replace it. So it's got a gasket pointing up, okay? I did grab some pliers, so I'm just gonna Okay, so there you have it. There's the old filter. Now this is a filter TW30 1812-50HR. A link to this down below. It's made by DuPont in the USA. So you can see in the housing, oh, got some more water on me. It's kind of nasty looking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step away, clean this up, and then as instructed here, for the first time use, please rinse the RO membrane with fresh water in order to remove the preservative from the membrane. So definitely want that. And then please drain all of the water generated in first operation, the clean water pipeline. So once we get that reinstalled, I'll show you how to do that. So I got this cleaned up, rinse this to get that preservative off. Hopefully I got it off. Get that pushed down in there. Okay. Thread this on. Throw that tool on and throw it in headlock. Okay, now it's on there. All right, so now the filter has been replaced, but as the manufacturer says, you wanna flush the lines, like with any filter, right? So I'm just gonna connect two of the three so that we have one open uh, to flush this out. So I'm gonna attach the top one here. So just make sure that it's pushed in all the way and then Okay, so that should be in there pretty snugly. And then this one is gonna go back here. Again, push this. And get that on there. Okay, 
So now my thought is to flush this line out is because this looks like this is the one that brings uh, this all the way back in here. Okay, I'll just stick it in here just to be safe. But all right, here we go. I'm going to plug this back in. A little bit of water coming through there. All right, I'm gonna take some water out of here, see if that gets the filter to start circulating again. So we haven't been able to really get the water cranking out of here much, uh, despite trying to drain it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reattach this last line here. So just push this in all the way. And then push that clip in, okay. And then that's back in place. Now what I'm gonna do is I'll turn it back on and then you can hit this reset button and just reset the light for when you're notified you need a new filter. And I'll just let this run overnight and then I'm gonna just drain the whole tank out. You can just do it here or you can remove this top and get in there and get the uh, water out of the storage tank. So filter replaced. Throw it back on and as it starts going, I'd suggest just leaving the cover off for a few minutes and just sticking around, make sure that there's no uh, leaks at any of the uh, connections that uh, you had to disconnect to change this filter. Make sure that's all good to go. Uh, and then you just hold this uh, button down um, and you'll see it says replace now, because I already did that, and then just hold it again and now it's, it's off, so. so if I hold it down, it'll say replace, and then I just hit it once, and now it's off, so. Should be good for another, I'll change these every six months, even though it says in the manual, you can change uh, this RO filter, it says 15 to 24 months, UV lights, 12 months, and then the other two of the three, six to nine months, and the pre-carbon filter, three to six months. So there you have it. RO uh, replaced, pretty straightforward. Again, just flush uh, the lines um, and run some hot water through it. It's also something that's uh, recommended as a uh, normal maintenance. Uh, just 30 minutes per week, turn on the hot mode and run some hot water through it, half a liter, and uh, you're good to go. So there you have it. I'm Justin Ball, signing out for now.